Hi, I'm Ron Polk, and we'll continue with the uh, design of the awesome rolling toolbox. Last, we left off with uh, this particular setup right here, and I said I was going to go in a different direction. So one of the techniques that I have done in designing, whether it be trailers or houses or, or anything where I'm going to have a lot of time involved and I want to head in a different direction, um, I will save the files uh, as under a different name. So you can see this one's the Officer and Rolling Toolbox. So if I go to Open Recents, see I got version 2. So all I did was just do a Save As and change the name. Later on, when I'm all done, when I've got a completed file, I'll go in and clean up my drive and delete those earlier versions. But this kind of frees my mind up to think. I don't have to uh, go, oh, what did I do back there? Or I don't want to move that because it you know, it'll change something. There are other ways to do that. Um, I could copy all of this over and, uh, and then make that unique and go ahead and start moving from there. The file gets kind of big and this way it stays uh, a little easier to keep designing. So anyway, so with version 2, what I've done is uh, I have um, uh, moved the uh, workbench, the Polk workbench from over here where I had kind of a taller section. And I've put them, rather than putting them in a secondary garage, um, I've utilized the garage here for the two total stations. And I've built a box on top of there to hold, at least at this point, uh, the larger tools. And these will fit in there a little better. These are not oversized, but they're accounting for every, you know, kind of squaring out uh, 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 tools that have, uh, you know, their, their sh machine shape to them instead of being a box. But this at least assures I have enough space to get them in there. Um, and then I just use the top of this. Uh, the boxes will be able to slide um, underneath the spring. Um, I uh, would have to bring these in further if I, uh, if, if I wanted to use to the very uh, ceiling. Um, and that would require me to walk into the trailer just as saying is standing here um, and, and lift them up. And this way I can sort of tip them out and slide them out. They'll be easy to access. And uh, so I've got my uh, Vutainer storage here. I've utilized the level storage to put my three uh, tracks, so there it will be easy to pull out. There are my saw horses for the support horses for the workbench, and of course the total station that I have, um, all of its parts and pieces store inside of it. So when I make uh, the framing version of the to of the total station, everything will fit inside of it. Um, I've still got my drawers and the storage for the planking. What I've done here is create a place for my uh, wheel for a wheelbarrow compressor. I don't own one now, but I. I got the dimensions uh, offline and created a box there. Um, and then I've put my power uh, cord and my air hose here. Now on all of my other trailers and trucks, I've had a hole in the floor so that I could run these out and then lock it up and leave everything plugged in. Haven't figured that out yet, but I'm not at a point of worrying about those kind of details. Um, I have uh, my cubbies. I, I took my larger cubby and replicated that um, twice, you know, first and then the second time. And then I took the same length and a little bit shorter one uh, to give me space on the top to put these bins. I find these bins really handy. I can uh, just label the face of them and have a lot of uh, materials, um, you know, just to pull down and, and uh, either use on the job or set on the bench. So I find those handy. And then I've created a couple of cabinets here. These will have shelves in them. Uh, for and I'm showing some larger tools. So I've kind of gotten to this point. I think that um, I will probably be moving on uh, a little bit further. What I don't like is I, I've got um, these drawers, the two shorter ones and then the three longer ones. And I think I need a few more. So I may uh, go in and make one that is as tall as uh, this top here and then uh, continue the shelf uh, on you know just the top of this flushing with the top of this so that I can uh, set a tool on it or just have more storage. Um, what I'm thinking is right now it's kind of worst case scenario. I have a secondary miter saw which at this point I don't own but I want to pick up for framing. I want to plan on that. I also have three vacuums in here. Well I have this this big aisleway 
and I don't always need to carry three vacuums with me. So I could have them sitting in the aisle way, uh, possibly tuck one underneath here, depending on uh, how many much in materials these take up. And uh, again, I could leave uh, one, uh, one of them in the shop and take two. And um, the other thing is I've got this Blum Mini Press, which is pretty large. And that is for boring holes in the sides of cabinets and also for hinge boring. I don't use that often. It's, you know, when I'm on that type of job. So that is a tool that I could leave in the shop, just like my paint sprayer and paint equipment. Again, uh, you know, having this 30 inch wide aisleway is going to allow me to put things in for job specific and not carry every single thing uh, with me. Again, I do want to carry as much as possible. Um, I find that it's better to have the tool and not use it than need it and either try to get by without it and take more time or have to run back to the shop. And then I've built this little cabinet here with shelves that uh, I'll have a plug in the back of it um, and then I'll put my battery chargers and batteries and things uh, in there. Of course I'll have a light in here and uh, have a switch for the light and the plug-in. But anyway, those are details I'm not to yet. I'm going to think about this, probably build that other drawer, and then um, I've got to figure out exactly how I'm going to build this, um, this uh, back shelf. I do want to have room to stand up a couple of ladders. Um, I have a short ladder and a, and a six foot and a four foot that I take with me all the time. So I want to be able to get those back there. And uh, I'll have a, you know, I usually carry about three or four garbage cans. I stack them in each other. I'll just put those in the aisle way. And then um, I kind of lost my sawhorse box. I've put it over here and decided that you know I, I just don't use all those sawhorses all the time so I found a place just to tuck a couple of them and uh, I can always take extra with me when I'm you know on a framing job usually I'll be framing for uh, a month or more so I can I can haul specific stuff and and leave them out on the job or just stick them in the aisle way at night if I want to lock them up I, the big tip for today I want to say is um, you know I got a little frustrated trying to fit everything in and uh, I, I was just getting a little mentally tired and I just took a break uh, and I came back and I looked at it with fresh eyes. Just take a break, a cup of coffee, go on a walk, do something different, even come back a day later. A fresh set of eyes sometimes is your best tool to go in and, and you'll just see things you didn't see before. And so I've made some good progress. I like my direction. I'm going to uh, start making some modifications to this. I think what I'll do is save this out as version 3. And also remember, if these videos are helpful, um, please share them. It helps out uh, the more views I get, um, the more inspired I am to make these videos. And sharing them is, is the best way to get them out there with so much content on YouTube, so much great content on YouTube. I'm always really thankful when somebody shares a video that they have found helpful. I'll take a peek at it. and A lot of times I'll find that it uh, you know, is, is something that's helpful for me. So share them and uh and like them thanks for taking the time to watch